Suppose your New Year's resolution was to eat more healthily. But the trouble is, you never have time. So you go for the ready-cooked meal. But how can you tell whether it meets your requirements? What and how information is displayed on food varies greatly in Europe. But that is about to change, as there is a new EU directive underway. Well, we would like the MEPs to vote for a multiple traffic light labelling scheme on the front of the pack, because the evidence shows that that works best for consumers. It's not about telling consumers what to eat, it's about enabling them to make informed choices. Studies have shown that this scheme displaying sugar, salt and fat contents would be popular with consumers. But in today's committee vote, it was rejected. As Parliament's rapporteur points out, consumers aren't the only ones to consider here. This regulation shall uh, um, help um, the food sector, shall give uh, more legal security. And it is uh, legislation um, for better harmonisation inside the internal market. Small and medium-sized businesses make up around 80% of the food sector. They are particularly keen on the directive stated aim to cut red tape. But big food business also has been lobbying hard. Many issues are still very much disputed, like how much, if any, additional labelling rules can be implemented by member states, something the draft of the Parliament's Internal Market Committee found out the hard way. I was uh, surprised by the fact that there was a majority in IMCO uh, to, to delete two whole chapters concerning national provisions. I uh, reacted by voting against my own report. Today's vote of the committee in charge of food safety lasted three hours. Only very few compromises between the different interest groups and convictions could be found. Negotiations in the run-up to the first reading in plenary, scheduled for May, will be intense.